Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the next topic in the chapter 1 that is introduction to geotechnical engineering basic definitions and their relationships. Coming to the next topic that is numerical 2 based on the water content, void ratio and porosity. <music> Coming to the first type of problem, it is given as a sample of saturated clay from a consolidometer test has a total weight of 1.524 kg and a dry weight of 1.053 kg. So here total weight is given as 1.524 kg and a dry weight is given as 1.053 kg and the specific gravity of solid particles Gs is given as 2.7. What we need to calculate? We have to determine water content, void ratio and porosity. From the previous discussions, we know that water content is denoted by small letter w and is equal to weight of water to the weight of solids and it is always expressed in percentage. Hence, we multiplied with 100. From the problem, he did not give directly what is the weight of the water. So, when total weight and dry weight is given, the weight of the water is calculated as total weight Wt minus weight of the solids Ws by denominator is Ws. When we put all the values, all the uh, correlated values, then the calculated value is about 44.7 percentage. If we round it off, it is around 45 percentage. What is the next uh, quantity we have to find out? Void ratio. In the uh, next coming slides, we will be seeing the, how this relation have got and I, I would uh, solve mathematically uh, how this relation have occurred. So, now, uh, there is a relationship between W and E that is E is equal to W into Gs by SR. What is W? Water content. From the above calculation, we already have calculated the water content. What is Gs already given in the problem? That is, specific gravity is 2.7. What is SR? He mentioned that it is a saturated clay. For saturated clay, SR value is equal to 1. When we put all the values, it is 1.215. What is the third quantity? Porosity. We already know that there is a relationship between void ratio and porosity as porosity is equal to E by 1 plus E. If we put all the values, we will come to a uh, calculated value as 0.548. It has to be expressed as percentage, hence it is 54.8 percentage. This is one type of the problem which may give in the examination. Coming to the next variety of problem, that is, a soil has a volume 0.0283 meter cube with a weight that is nothing but moist at moist condition it is 56.6 kg and dry weight oven dried it is 45.5 kg we have to determine the void ratio and the porosity based on the volume weight relationships and specific gravity one more thing given in the problem that is specific gravity of solids is 2.65 what we know we know that solid unit weight that is gamma s is equal to capital W s by V s is equal to G s by G s into gamma w. Uh, so we can calculate gamma s with G s uh, into gamma w. What is G s? Specific gravity of the solids. It is given 2.65. What is gamma w? Unit weight of the water. If we want to calculate in gram per centimeter cube, it is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Substitute the values 2.65 into 1 it is 2.65 gram per centimeter cube. If we want to convert it into kg because the weight is given in kg we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. Just substitute after substituting uh, and uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. If you put all the uh, relation we get 2650 kg per meter cube. So, what is the volume of solid? How we get volume of solid? We know that volume of solid is equal to Ws by Gs into gamma W from the above relationship. From the above relationship. We know Ws is already given that is weight of the solids that is 45.5 kg by what is Gs specific gravity? It is 2.65 into 1. 
but we want in kg because the weight is in kg so 2650 kg per meter cube kg kg cancel and we will be getting 0.017 meter cube that is nothing but the volume of the solids volume of the solids is 0.0171 meter cube how how do we get volume of voids it's very simple we have to subtract volume of solids from the total volume it's nothing but total volume is 0.0283 minus 0.0171 so we get 0.0112 meter cube we already know that void ratio is uh, vv by vs we know the value of vv and vs hence the value of void ratio is 0.65 Coming to the porosity, we know that porosity is equal to volume of voids by total volume. We know that volume of voids is uh, 0 0.0112 uh, by 0 0.0283. Calculated value is around 0 0.39. How do we get weight of the water? If we see the figure properly, the weight of the water can be calculated from the total weight minus weight of the solids. What is total weight? 56.6 kg minus 45.5. We get 11.1 kg is the weight of the water. After getting weight of the water, it is very easy to calculate the volume of the water. So, volume of the water Vw is equal to weight of water by specific gravity of the water. So, 11.1 kg by it is given as 1 uh, gram per centimeter cube. Hence, after calculation, we get uh, volume of water is equal to 0 0.0311 meter cube. This is one type of the problem which may give, uh, give in the examination. Very important problem. Thank you.